Within this tutorial, I'll explain how to use the Painting with Light software and how to import the animation you just created of your 3D face scan. First of all, go to the Cloning Workshop folder and double click on it. Next, double click on Step 3. Then double click on Cloning Workshop Superhuman Academy Painting with Light Shortcut. Then move the Painting with Light output to the right of your screen. First of all, we could draw a mesh in this black surface area. like so. So left click and then draw a square. Now if we go above we've got the textures layer. If we click on this video we can now see there's a face rotating. In this window we can change the shape of the plane of the texture to make it more angular and distorted. If you go towards the top of the editor you can see there's a button called edit mapping. If you click on that you'll see that the animation of your face has been zoomed in. Now if you left click on the corners, you can reduce the size of the actual animation itself. Which means there's less black surface area and a larger animation. If you look on the output window, you can see this more clearly as this is what you'll see when it's projected. You can create interesting textures by folding over the edges of the square, creating weird, unusual patterns. OK, so click out of the edit, edit mapping window and now maybe we might want to just expand this window to make it bigger. You can use this tool to uh, video map against a surface that you're projecting on to fit and coordinate a shape. Next I'm going to show you how to load a new video into the projection mapping screen. So click on load, go to desktop, go to video clips, and let's select the Intel video clips folder. Let's click on blue head scan and then select open. This has replaced the video that I just mapped. OK, that's no problem. So I'd like to click on Edit Mapping and see if I can zoom in onto the top section of this scan. That's quite an interesting effect. As you can see on the output window over here, we can also change the colour by clicking on these windows here. OK. I'd like to draw another window. So I'm going to click up here, left click. X out of the edit mapping and draw another window. 
this time I'm going to left click on this video of my face and I'm going to change the shapes on this page and go into edit mapping and zoom in on the face Right, let's click out of that and I'm going to add a new layer and I want to load another animation. So let's just go back to the desktop video clips and to see what video there is in there oh, I think this is quite interesting let's click on this one and open I'm going to put this one behind or maybe over the top yeah that's pretty cool Let's have a look if I edit mapping and see if I can zoom in and create any. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. See how it looks on the output window? It's quite a crazy effect. It's very diffracted. Okay, let's click out of edit mapping. Maybe I'll reduce this so it doesn't completely fill the whole page. Wait, where's it best? Let's have a look. Okay, so you can see that you can have a lot of fun with this software, creating new shapes and textures. There's another tool here, the polygon tool, which allows you to draw and add more complicated shapes so we add a different pattern in here so just go to load and let's try this one no I'm not into that one let's try something else maybe that one okay so this is on top of the head and I'd like this in the background so what we can do is go to shape edit and I think it's polygon 4 let's try that yeah so let's move it to the back
Okay, I'm going to save this now. And end the recording.